that motherboard of your dreams won't power on self-test. Based on my many years of teaching PC hardware, let me show you the top five reasons why your motherboard won't boot. And starting off with the fifth most common reason why your computer will not turn on, have you made sure the power supply is turned on? And more importantly, is it plugged in? Works much better with electricity. And the fourth most common reason why your brand new, shiny, wonderful, super expensive motherboard will not power on self-test is, can you see it? The lights are on, the fans are on, but nothing's happening. I'm not getting a beep for power on self-test successful. It's just sitting there. Can you see the problem? Let me zoom in a little bit. You should be able to see it now. There's a little red light to bring our attention to the fact that we forgot to plug in the 8-pin auxiliary 12-volt voltage. And the symptoms you'll get is all the lights will come on on the motherboard, the fans will spin up, but you will never get a power on self-test. Works much better if we plug it in. And the third most common reason that I have seen for a PC not to turn on or boot up or do a power on self test is not the first two. It's plugged in and turned on. And we have the eight pin auxiliary power connector connected, but we screwed up the front panel connectors. And if you don't actually hook up the power switch to the motherboard, it's not gonna turn on. Now, if you bought a higher end motherboard, you can prove or disprove it's the front panel power switch because there'll be another power button actually on the motherboard itself. And look at that. It turns on when you use the other power button and the power on self-test is gonna be successful. So we just failed to hook up the front panels. And I've got a whole video on how to do that. And there's that beep, power on self-test successful. And with the power button plugged into the motherboard correctly, we're back to normal operation and all is wonderful with the world again. And the second most common reason it looks like you have a dead motherboard has nothing to do with the motherboard. There, you heard power on self-test successful, single beep, but we have nothing on the monitor, nothing on the screen. It's on the back. Now, if you look carefully, this motherboard has an HDMI slot on it, but I have a discrete video card plugged in. So if you plug your HDMI into the motherboard HDMI, but you have a discrete video card, you will get nothing on the screen. So if I plug this HDMI into the video port that is actually sending video out, I'll get something on the screen. So that's a common issue I have seen. Now, the video card will take primary priority over the motherboard HDMI. And if your CPU doesn't have integrated graphics built into it, you're not gonna get anything on that motherboard HDMI anyway. So, you'd be surprised at how many people think they've got a bad computer just because they didn't pay attention to which HDMI they plugged their video cable into. And the number one reason why motherboards do not want to power on self-test, the motherboard screaming out trying to tell us, memory is not seated. Usually you'll get some sort of slow or fast repeating beep when your memory is not fully seated. Many novice computer builders are afraid to push hard enough to get that memory all the way home or they put it in backwards and the slot does not line up. So I hope this video will help you avoid some of the common mistakes when building a desktop PC. And don't forget to buy one of these small motherboard speakers so you can hear that single beep of power on self-test successful. 
and your motherboard will boot up. Thanks a lot for watching and take care.